Well, hey, you all, and welcome back. Welcome back to another reaction. Welcome back. Welcome back because we getting some traction. Welcome back. Welcome back to another reaction. Welcome back. Welcome back for your satisfaction. Bitch, I'm a rapper. Period. Cue the intro. I support a black owned business. <laughs> It is your girl Natalie Love showing up with the curls. Yes, they are still here. I don't know what that red light is, but it's making me look real motherfucking holy. So anyway. What is up, love family? Now y'all already know I love me a good old piece of apparel. And shout out to DIYOJ for supplying us these jerseys. Yes, God. Do you see my name on a jersey? I ain't never been athletic and they got my name on a jersey. Do you understand me? Look at the detail. And this a love gang across the front. Turn around to the back, girl. Let them see. Say Natalie Love on the back, baby. I'm on a jersey now. If you got some family events coming up, springtime coming, summertime coming, and I know damn well y'all got family reunions coming. So y'all may want to do baseball. Y'all may want to get outside. Y'all may want to just do a baseball theme. It don't matter. You can make football jerseys, baseball jerseys, hockey jerseys. Who else wear jerseys? You can make a jersey and put your own name on it. You can customize it. Look at my logo on this jersey. But even better than that, they gave me a 10% off coupon by you just using Natalie Love. Is it going to be in the description? Of course. Is the website going to be in the description? Of course. You know I always give you the access when they give it out to me. And again, shout out to DIYOJ for thinking of the love gang, the love family, the love mob to sport these customized jerseys. You don't feel like paying all that money for a Dallas Cowboy jersey? Yeah, I said it and I don't care. Make you one. You don't want to pay all that money for a Rams jersey? Make you one. Now y'all know I got a little bit small, so my jersey a little bit loose. But you can, of course, get your own size. The size I have on in this video is a 5X, okay? It's a 5X and I'm swallowed whole, baby. So that should tell you the quality of that material. Make sure, again, you go into the description. Tap on that link. Use my name, Natalie Love, all caps, and get your 10% off. And let them know at DIYOJ that the love gang sent you we are looking at another reaction video and thank y'all for keeping me abreast on what's been going on when i don't know and wanting to hear my reaction on it so i'm gonna give it to y'all okay if you have not already make sure you like comment and subscribe okay make sure you do all three of those now if you do the fourth one that's on you because i can't see that shit no more <laughs> youtube outsmarted you bitch but oh yeah i cuss it's a thing so uh I cuss and I do frequent pauses. If you don't want to hear me talk on my shit, you know, on these videos ain't mine. But you don't want to hear me talk, go find a motherfucking video your goddamn self. Okay? Sometimes I may put the put it down in the description. I may not. Bitch, the whole idea of you coming to my fucking video is to watch me. Hmm? Not to sing you to nobody else. But anyway, we are looking at man admits to using fraudulent PPP loans to buy luxury cars, homes, cars and homes in Texas and California. Oh, oh, that, that nigga said Houston, Atlanta, Vegas. Oh, <laughs> anyway, this is from a news station. So, I mean, there may or may not be any monetization on this video, but either way, we're going to get that shit out. So, like I said, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And let me make sure we are recording. And we are. Let's get right into the video. Federal prosecutors say a cartel man was caught swindling millions of dollars in COVID stimulus money meant to help struggling businesses. Hello, everybody. I'm Heather Hayes. And I'm Steve Eager. It's 9 o'clock. The U.S. Attorney for the Northern District of Texas says Dinesh Saw here in a 2020 month. I have to start out by saying I'm proud to see who he is. I just knew they was going to have one of us plastered the fuck up there. But then again, 24 million. Never mind. Never mind. That, that, nah, they not finna give. Unless you got a little status, they ain't finna give us that. Shot for an unrelated charge. Confessed and, but you didn't buy no hair plugs. You didn't. And, but he sorry, sorry. You didn't want to put a little sod on the fairway up there? 
you you want to put a little dust on your covering like you you had all this money and you okay you bought shit that they could take away from you they can't take that hair piece in jail they can't take that hair piece in jail remember that in jail they couldn't have took that hair piece crazy 1700 square foot three bedroom home in Capel where he lived was the headquarters you bought the house and lived in it two million dollars should have flipped it no money court documents say he then bought other real estate and several luxury cars <laughs> box force davidson fender is at the federal courthouse in downtown dallas with more on this fraud investigation <sighs> he may not have been one of us but he did some nigga shit you the sba put up hundreds of billions of dollars in forgivable loans during the early stages of the pandemic in an effort to help small businesses pay their employees while one local man admitted that he used that money fraudulently obtained it to pay for homes and fancy cars it's the fancy cars part that kills me I, I don't why did y'all go knock the only reason y'all got the goddamn story is because he already been indicted for the shit right so what you knocking at the door for you want to make sure ain't nobody there like but the luxury car shit y'all go and buy a car in your name Ayana Vanza, in your name. You go out and purchase a vehicle in your name. Okay. The address, a federal criminal complaint. With their money. Nesh saw lived. The 55 year old is. And he got the face. I'll do it again. County mugshot related to assault charges. I'll definitely do it again. Related to him about a 24 million dollar COVID-19 fraud scheme he pleaded guilty to. What the, the what did you tell them people? Wednesday, federal investigators previously raided his Capel home. And as I pulled into my driveway, I saw Oh, shut up, snitchy Lou. <laughs> car and take off. Neighbor Vicky Burke. She couldn't wait to snitch with that goddamn my fuck nigga's haircut. <laughs> no, it's a black man named Burnus. Ernest, Vernus, one of them. His nick, his name end with a motherfucking nest that he got. She got in that fucking house. Probably tied up like the bitch from Misery. I wouldn't trust her judgment either. And you probably spoke to that man every day. Hey, Dinesh. Hello. How are you today? I. I fucking hate humans. I hate him. What did he tell y'all? What did he say to y'all to get twenty four million dollars? What kind of business was he run? Businesses. Because I can't imagine y'all did that for one company. But you got people out here start. Never mind. I digress. I saw dozens of federal agents. And they were coming up the sidewalk with guns drawn. She had no clue. With guns drawn. It's the most excitement this neighborhood has had since I moved I said, here. Go back inside. And she did. The U.S. Oh, you had to be heroic in some way, bitch. Saw submitted 15 fraudulent applications. He got a wife beater on. Various businesses he owns. They got his ass in the middle of comfort. Different lenders seeking more than 24 million dollars in PPP loans. He claimed he had numerous employees and thousands of dollars in payroll expenses when, in fact, the criminal complaint says he didn't. Still, investigators say initially he got away with 17 million dollars. Purchased homes and luxury cars. A Bentley, a Jaguar. Well, first it's upsetting, right? Because you have so many clients who weren't able to get. A what has ever been wrong with being rich in a Kia? It's a lot of motherfucking moguls around here driving Kias, Hondas, Hondas, Ford, Chevys, regular ass cars. You go get a Bentley. You do realize there's already a microscope on your back from these people because they expecting some of that money back. Anyway, then you go out and buy this shit. You literally have sold your soul to these people for this $24 million. They own your ass. And after a certain amount of money, that's when they put a microscope on you for real. We want to know what you buying. Because if you paying for your company with this money, you got all these payroll expenses. You couldn't buy a Bentley before with this motherfucking company, but you got some extra money. Now, why? Stop playing. You could have went and bought a whole fleet of motherfucking cars and sold them. Flip the motherfucking money. And either start paying something back and default on that shit, or do y'all just get the money and go, and then keep putting shit in your name, leaving a paper trail. Oh my god, Lord forgive me. Oh my goodness, 
enough money or missed out on the first round. She looks like a little person. I just want to hold her. Because individuals like this were taking money they're not entitled to. Attorney Mishti Deb, formerly of the SBA, says the Inspector General's office is dedicating a team to solely investigate PPP fraud. It tells you that there's a lot of fraud. Unfortunately, people saw the opportunity and they seized it. Is there too much of this going on where you don't think investigators can actually keep up with how much fraud there is? Good question. I think there is enough of it going on that it's going to take them a while to get through. Stop it. I know niggas going to jail right now. Stop. They catching the motherfuckers they can immediately and the motherfuckers that they can't, they letting you, they giving you rope to hang your fucking self. That's what they doing. Stop it. Knock it the fuck off. If y'all had money to just cash people out like this, what they doing is getting a team on you the entire time that they researching and looking at all your shit, making sure your paperwork right, cause they can't they can't be doing nothing just looking at that, cause y'all a lot of people that did these loans ain't got legitimate businesses no way. They just looking, making sure the paperwork look right or whatever, whatever, hitting the button, and it takes so many days. That's so many days that it takes to get that money to you. They got a tactic team that's going to check on your ass in a few motherfucking months. You better believe it. Now, people getting five and $10,000, you're going to get some motherfucking time. You're stupid. You sick in the fucking head if you didn't figure out a way to flip that $10,000 motherfucking dollars to get them their money back and still be on top. That's niggas that go out and buy luxury cars, homes that they not doing shit with. They just decide, oh, I want to live here this week. Oh, this week I want to go to California. They not investing. They not flipping nothing. They not going to put no money into no kind of stock, some shit that cannot be taken from you. Now, probably the stock, they can probably get you for that shit at the same time because that's still jewelry, teeth. Yeah, like you go, you go get stupid shit. I would go get me a hair plug. <laughs> If I was Dinesh and a different fucking wife beater. All of the fraud. I mean, there's just that much. Well, the inspector general. Y'all been, y'all been, uh, getting some niggas. Stop Dr. playing. Say he admitted to sending millions of dollars in PPP in international money transfers. And it was a little disconcerting, you know, having <laughs> guns drawn going down your sidewalk. But Burke says, shut the fuck up. You knew they weren't there for you, the Becky Sue. Appraisal records list saw as the owner. You never know what else is going to go on. You know, it could be happening anywhere in any neighborhood. Sa is still in custody, awaiting sentencing. He's facing up to 30 years <sighs> in federal prison. Stephen Heather, certainly this is the talk of his neighborhood. They finna get... Somebody gave me life! They finna give that nigga life in jail. For stealing government fucking funds. They finna give that young man life in jail. Y'all better quit playing with these motherfucking people. They are not playing with you. They not playing with y'all. Stop playing with these people about their motherfucking money. Well, that's the end of the video, y'all, if you couldn't already see that. So, uh, I thank y'all so much for watching and rocking with me. And until next motherfucking time, I love y'all. Make sure you go get a shirt. And again, until next time. Mm -hmm. Bye.